Okay, let's say you're given a table and they want you to first actually create a probability table. So to do that, I mean, pretty much I can just copy all of this and of course get rid of all the numbers because I want these to be probabilities. So what's kind of nice is where a cell intersects is actually the intersection probability. The margin, marginal, here around the totals is actually called the marginal probability. So each one of these probabilities I would just find by taking the number in that cell and then dividing by, so if I'm looking at how many out of the total for my probability, then I'm looking at my 1305. Now I want to copy this, so I don't want the 1305 to change, but I want all the other cell information to change. So, <coughs> excuse me, I copied it, or I'm sorry, I finished, finished it, and now let's see what happens if I drag this straight across, and then actually could drag it straight down. And this is important because all probabilities need to add to 1 anyway. Now you might say, well, yeah, it's 1 because it's 1305 over 1305. But you really should check that these, this column and these rows, and they do add to 1. Okay, so here's all my wonderful probabilities. Maybe I'll change them to all have three decimal places. Looks good. It says using the marginal probabilities. So the marginal probabilities are what you see highlighted. It says um, of undergraduate major, so I'm looking in the columns, which undergraduate major produces the most potential MBA students? Well, I can definitely see that it's business because that's the highest value by just simply looking at the majors. All right, if a student, so you already know that they've attended full time, what is the probability that they're an engineering major? This is a conditional probability. So notice how I said that, and you kind of say it backwards. What is the probability they're an engineering student given that they're going to attend class full time? So this, you can't just read the probability straight from the table. You're using this formula, okay? So in other words, I'm looking for the probability that they're engineering given that they're going to go to school full time. So to find this, looking at the formula here, I see I need the intersection that they're, I need the intersection that they are engineering and full time, which would be this probability, and then divided by, and I always just memorize the denominator is the probability of the given. Well, the probability of full time is this total. And I press my press enter and I get my answer. All right, then here it says if a student was an undergrad graduate business major. So once again, that's given. You already know they were a business major. What's the probability they are going to attend class full time? So I'm looking for the probability they're going to go full time given they're a business major. So that this is how conditional probabilities work. So once again, the numerator would be full time, full time and business right there. And then divided by the probability that they're business. All right. And so let's just highlight those since those are my answers. And then here it just talks about it wants to make sure you understand what independence means. So if you have probabilities that are independent, then the probability of the first event times the probability of the second event actually in, equals the intersection. So that's what we want to see. We want to see, are these actually equal? So let's say in this case, the probability of A is full time and then times 
the probability, because here it's talking, well, here I guess it tells you. Let A denote the event they attend a class full time, B that they were a business major. So times the probability they were a business major. So what we want to do is we want to check and see, are these independent of each other? If the intersection is the same as that value, okay, so if those are equal, then they are independent. Well, as you can see, so it's asking for the probability that they are uh, full-time and a business major, well, that was that 0 0.270. And so certainly these are not independent because these two, the probability of A times B, probability of B does not equal the intersection. That is a rule of probabilities that the intersection would equal the probability of the two events by themselves multiplied together.